Okay, well, I'm going to start off with saying that my opponent said that, you know, through legalization, the, the, the crime rate is lowered and, you know, it's safer, the prostitutes are safer, and, you know, but um, according to Sarah Parker, uh, a reporter, the average pimp uh, will kill one girl to send a message to the others that you are his property for life. So, I mean, even if we legalize it, doesn't mean that, you know, they're going to stop working. I mean, obviously, they're going to work for brothels and stuff, so they can obviously, um, you know, harm them or hurt them. And, uh, you know, legalizing prostitution expands it, really, because um, it, it also helps pimps uh, and fails to protect women because it leads to uh, more back alley violence. Uh, prostitution is like an industry vulnerable to rape and even after legalization it doesn't really necessarily protect the women. I mean, um, you know, you might say how is it rape, but the thing is that the, the, the contract between the prostitute and the customer isn't really made between the prostitute and the customer, it's really made between the brothels or the pimps, so they get to decide who they're going to you know, have uh, a sexual relationship with, and what? And uh, according to um, a study done by uh, a study done by the Coalition Against Trafficking in Women, um, there there are cameras and stuff in um, in these brothels, but even then. It doesn't really protect them. It says uh, that okay. The study done by Coalition Against Trafficking in Women uh, found that even surveillance cameras in prostitution establishments are used to protect the establishment, and the protection of the women for abuse is a secondary uh, is of secondary importance or no importance at all. Um, Violence against prostitutes is a rampant problem. A uh, number of violent attacks on prostitutes, including rape and murder, and, and the considerably greater number of such crimes, which are believed to go unreported, suggest that prostitutes themselves are victims of most serious crime, criminal offenses. And uh, my my uh, my opponent claims that. You know, if after legalization and decriminalization, prostitutes can go to police officers and like complain files of attacks and stuff. But um, according to a study done by again the Coalition of uh, Against Trafficking in Women, most of the 146 women interviewed strongly state that prostitution should not be legalized and considered or considered legitimate work. Uh, warning that legalization would create more risks and harm for women from already violent customers and pimps. Uh, and one even one uh, prostitute even goes to say that no way it is not a profession. It's humu it's humiliating and violence for the from the men's side, and that prostitution stripped uh, me of my life, my health, and everything. So really, they're ashamed of what they are doing. They're really forced to do it because of po poverty you know, because of violence, sex trade, and they, they, they're really ashamed and they don't want to go to the police and file complaints because they're ashamed of what they are doing and what's forced of them to do. And uh, the third claim that my opponent makes is that, uh, that the, you know, business and uh, th this is the type of business and that it's going to be taxed and stuff. And really what they're saying is that prostitution kind of made pimps into, and brothels into like entrepreneurs and like, you know, they're giving them the right to like have this business and they, they're kind of like supporting sex as like a job, like something to be sold, which is, uh, you know, which accor according to uh, Raymond, or Janice Raymond from the um, non-legalization committee says that prostitution has been transformed 
into sex work and pimps into entrepreneurs, so too is this potential solution transforms trafficking into voluntary immigration for sex work. The Netherlands is looking to the future targeting poor women of color for international sex trade to remedy the inadequacies of free market of sexual service. In the process, it goes further in legitimizing prostitution as an option for the poor. So it's really exploiting the poor into these trades. Thank <clears throat> you.